these days, frozen fish is often just as fresh, and sometimes even fresher, than fresh fish. Which seems like it makes no sense. But let's talk about what it actually means for food to be fresh. Like, check out this kale. You would never call it fresh, right? Because for most foods, we use the word fresh to mean that something is in tip-top condition to eat. But with seafood, people generally use the term fresh to indicate that something hasn't been frozen. And it turns out that fish being fresh in the not frozen sense has very little to do with whether it's fresh in the quality sense. Consider how this never frozen fish filet got to your grocery store. After getting caught out on the water, maybe way out on the water, you had to get back to shore, then to a processing facility to be cleaned and gutted and filleted. Then it had to make its way, probably a significant distance, since the vast majority of the seafood we eat in the US comes from abroad, all the way to your store. I did a lot of digging to find out how long this whole process actually takes, and although it depends on all sorts of factors, the answer is somewhere between three and 20 days. Yeah, almost three weeks. And we're not just talking inland locations here. Because of our dependence on imported seafood, this is often the case even in coastal cities. And as fish, like any food, sits around, biological stuff happens in there. Proteins break down, fats oxidize, microbes grow. And as we've talked about before, a lot of these processes happen particularly quickly in fish. Now, I am not saying that your grocery store is selling fish that has gone bad, but I am saying that it may not be as fresh quality-wise as you might expect from something we literally call fresh.